Hello everyone, welcome to Design Hub. In Design Hub, we provide quality technical content related to the design industry using practical concepts. So, to upgrade yourself please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As we have designed nozzles, an elliptical head in previous videos. In this video, we will assemble it on the shell. Let's insert both the elliptical heads into this assembly. and coincide the edge of the head to the front edge of shell 1, using the mate command. Also, make the elliptical head concentric with the shell. To make it completely constrained, coincide the right plane of shell 1 with the right plane of the elliptical head. Similarly, place another elliptical head on shell 2. Now, right-click on Shell 1, and click on the editing part. We will cut a hole on Shell 1. Select the right plane of Shell 1, and sketch a circle. Take a diameter, equal to the outer diameter of Nozzle 1 which is 323.80 mm. Place the circle at 1238 mm from the weld line of shell 2. After that use the extrude cut command, and cut to the surface of the shell. We will also sketch a circle on the top plane of shell 1. Taking a diameter equal to 60.30 mm. Place the circle at 1,488 mm from the weld line of shell 2. Use extrude cut command and cut to the upper surface of shell 1. Similarly, you can cut a hole in the elliptical head. Sketch a circle on the top plane of diameter same as the OD of the nozzles. We will now, insert both inlet and outlet nozzles in the assembly.
using the mate command, make an extrude cut surface of nozzle 1. Concentric with the inner surface of shell 1. Also, make the inner surface of the nozzle. Concentric with a hole on the shell 1. Use mate alignment to place the nozzle at the correct position. Let's place nozzle 2 at its position. You can make the inner surface of the nozzle 2, concentric with the hole of the elliptical head. Also, make the revolve cut surface of nozzle 2, concentric with the inner surface of the elliptical head. Now, let's insert the nozzle 3. You can make this nozzle similarly to other nozzles we have made, dimensions are displayed for nozzle 3. You can make a circle of 548 mm, on the right plane, and use extrude cut command. For placing the nozzle on the shell, make the outer surface of the nozzle 3, concentric with the hole, on the top of the shell. Also, Make the revolve cut surface of nozzle 2, concentric with the inner surface of shell 1. We have placed, all three nozzles in their place. Now, We'll assemble the flanges on the top of the nozzle. We will insert the weld neck flanges. You can get to the flanges folder by going to the design library, then routing, piping, and flanges. The requirement is a weld neck flange of 900 class, nominal pipe size of 12 inches, and comes under schedule 120. Let us change the appearance of the flanges, and set the color, same as the model. For placing flanges on the nozzles. 
we will make the bore of the weld neck flange, concentric with the inner surface of the nozzle. We will apply the same relation to another flange. Still, the weld neck flanges are not fixed on the top of the nozzle. We will fix it after inserting another flange. The requirement is a weld neck flange of 900 class, nominal pipe size of 2 inches, and comes under Schedule 80. Change the color of the weld neck flange, same as the model color. To make it constraint, you can make the bore of the flange, concentric with an inner surface of the nozzle 3. Now, for fixing the weld neck flange on the nozzle. You can place the hub of the weld neck flange, 102 mm apart, from the edge of the nozzle 3. Do apply the same for the other two nozzles. But for a bigger weld neck flange, place the hub of the weld neck flange, 206 mm apart, from the edge of the nozzle. Now, quickly place another weld neck flange, on the top of the nozzle. To fix the rotation of the weld neck flange, you can coincide the right plane of nozzle 1, with the top plane of the weld neck flange. Do the same for nozzle 2 and another weld neck flange. Now, for a smaller weld neck flange, coincide the side plane to the front plane of the nozzle 3. We have assembled all the mentioned components. In the next video, we will design the reinforcement pad. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Until then learn and grow.